What's up, Columbia Chronicle? My name is Fikile, aka you can call me Fix, and I had the great pleasure of being with a rock star. <laughs> yeah, a rock star. I expected him to wear his South African rugby shirt, but he's not wearing one. I almost one. did, yeah. You know him from Degrassi, you know him from a lot of movies. He goes by the name of Shannon Cook, and I wanted to make sure I said this Chan. Shannon Cook Chan, yeah, you, you got it. Most people get it wrong, so. I'm, we're, we're like debating whether it should be Shannon Cook, because it's just, it's just a bit easier, but. Was that your choice? You Because you, it sounds like you've kept both, both surnames from your mother. Well, when my dad was born, it was actually not Cook Chan, but they spelt it wrong when he was born. So um, it's actually, now it's Cook Chan. <laughs> but people still get that wrong. So, so it's just like... It's just, you know, but it's understandable. People try. Tell us about the family dynamics. Well, my mom is, uh, <clears throat> well, you would know, because you're from South Africa. And uh, this is so, it's really Brew. awesome to... Yeah. <laughs> Brew. Uh, yeah, because it's funny to be across the world, and yeah. I, I don't usually bum into a lot of South Africans. But uh, I mean, I mean, if, if anyone knows much about apartheid, they se they try to separate the groups, and, yeah. and they got very specific. And there was they separated into the the black community, the colored community, and the white community. Yeah. And the colored is a descent of black, as you know. Yeah. But but uh, it's just a different culture and stuff. And my mom's colored, so she was brought up in Mitchell's Plain, which is the the colored slum and mm -hmm. one of the black slums of Soweto. And uh, my dad was from Mauritius, and um, he got a scholarship, went to Swaziland, and then he met my mom in Cape Town. Did you come here wanting to act, or...? Well, I mean, I acted in primary school, high school, but it was never really something I thought I could actually do. South Africa, like, when I was in LA last week and I saw the Hollywood sign, it was really weird for me, because I'd always saw it on TV. Yeah. And it just, like, creeped around the corner of a wall. I was like, whoa! <laughs> because you just don't think you'll ever see that kind of thing. And I thought I would always be in South Africa, and. You know, acting's fun, but I could never do that. How, did, how long did you live in South Africa for then? Uh, most like through high school. I came here 2003, like the night before the blackout, and um, just took it from there really, just tried to figure things out, and uh, it's been an interesting journey so far, you know? So, I mean, the career is practically still on, I mean... Really in the beginning, a, yeah. It isn't still in the beginning, <coughs> but you've done so much within that beginning, which is really awesome. I mean, very fortunate, yeah. I mean, I only finished theater school about a year and a half, two years ago, and I shot my first TV gig uh, uh, last June, July. And wow. since then, I've been fortunate enough to work. But I mean, you, you've been here like two months, and you're already... Dude. And this, this place, <laughs> Columbia College, I watched some stuff, and it, it's really, really good. awesome. It's inspiring to, to, to see all this, all this stuff, like you know, hubbling and bubbling in one one space. Well, all this, there's lots of buildings and stuff, but... The mixture of the arts coming together is the one thing that I've got to say Colombia has got right. And yeah. the people coming together and creating new art and innovative art is like the creme de la creme that have they got right. No. What are the misconceptions you got when you got to Canada? Oh, I mean, this is funny. They, they wait. First they'd ask, what's your background? And I never got asked, what's my background until I came to Canada. Oh, so the wow. Africa was, people never really asked me that. And then I never thought that people would find it interesting that I was mixed. I think a lot of my friends didn't even know that, that uh, I was half colored from my mom's side because it just never really came up. Yeah. Um, but uh, they'd be like, you're not bl they want to say like you're not black, black or they yeah. have a bit of a reaction or they think I was racist because, you know, talk about that, that when I said my mom was colored, then I have to come up with the mulatto term, which I've never used. And it's kind of frustrating. It's mixed race or yeah, bi whatever the whatever the PC word is. Yeah. Um, yeah, all these PC words, you never know when you're saying the right thing. That's but I mean, so if, if any American left the country and went somewhere and they're like, where are you from? And you couldn't say you were American. And you had to make up this word and say, well, I'm mulatto. Um, it, it's annoying, you know, because that's not how you identify yourself. And, you know, I know Khaled has a different meaning here, so if anyone here mm. said it, I'd, I'd definitely take it, have a double take, depending where you're from and what context now, is in. I see that most of your roles you play a gay role. Mm -hmm. Are it's, you gay? Uh, it's something that I try not to make the issue about it, because uh, I've been very much in debate about, you know, I'm an actor, so I, I, yeah. I, I, I'll give everything I can of what the role asks for. You know, you're in love with the guy, you're in love with this person, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna do this. It's, it's acting, so, but you want it to speak to people. There's, there's also pressure that you have to be what the role is. Um, and there's, that's a, a, a push and pull. If I had like a buzz cut right now and, and like, a, uh, like a baseball ball hat on or something, you'd see me in a different way than with the way I look right now. There's yeah. all images that you put out and people will perceive you. You're Asian, you're gay, you know, that sort of. So it's I did stereotype, you put you in a box kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And for me, I really didn't want to make it a, too much about 
these kind of labels that you can just be whoever you want to be and it shouldn't really be too much of an issue. The, with the gay roles, look, they all, it was funny enough because I shot them all back to back last year. Uh, and that was out of no planning, it just happened to get the roles Rose. at the same time. Yeah. And they shot literally back to back and now they're all coming out. All at the same time. Yeah. So, okay, uh, I see. And all the roles I shot before that, like I'm being Erica, I was making out with like two girls at the same time and then making them make out and like uh, the, one, the border, I was like the love interest for a girl and is you know some things i'm hitting goals around and stuff it kind of seems like it's you you get on stage you do your best with whatever you do whatever the role is and you need to get out of it and just carry on and not feel the attachment or the judging or the whatever it may be yeah but other people might not get out and of it might not people, oh, okay. other people you could be out of it but other people will, will carry that image of you oh wow so you That's know it leaks into your it leaks into your personal life yeah What's the next step for you at this stage? Uh, right now, we just signed with some managers and uh, and some agents in LA. I just got back on Saturday night and uh, had a bunch of really interesting auditions. I had I crammed in an audition last night. I heard about it the last minute, and it's just some like big actors that I would never expect. I'm like, yeah. well, I can't be acting next to the, this like George Clooney and like oh, and man. like Ryan Gosling and like That's where you got, your mind's got to be though, right? Yeah. It's really exciting, but then it's, you know it's my second time in, in the states, and I was uh, LA was my first my first time seeing America. No, no, yeah. You know what? Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, it was, it was great to it's, it's really reconnect here with you. I know, Brew. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Shannon Kirkchan, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, Columbia.